Hello again folks, um, I haven't done that video for quite some time now, I've actually been out the country for the last five months so I thought tonight I'd ease myself back into doing some YouTube content for you by covering this device, uh, it's a mobile phone sterilizer or coating machine as I quite often refer to as. Um, but on that note, with the current pandemic we find ourselves in, I hope that you and your family and friends are staying safe and following all the guidelines, uh, hopefully the, the end is in sight and all these vaccinations are, are doing the job job but um yeah i thought it'd be quite interesting to have a look at one of these devices and see if it does actually function as it's supposed to i can tell you right now that it doesn't i can tell you that because as a professional <laughs> <laughs> that was a joke youtuber uh, i managed to record this whole video in portrait mode and i'm now recording it in landscape mode for your viewing pleasure anyway enough waffle let's get into it let's like see it is a coating machine or a mobile phone sterilizer you can pick them up on amazon or ebay for about eight pounds upwards but up to about 40 pounds um they're all pretty much look the same they've all got this uh, what appears to be laser engraved uh, text on here uh, and that's the only thing that uh, tends to differ um, inside the device when you open up the box um, you get a USB A to micro uh, micro B cable for power you get your fantastic little quality control label there so you know it's the you know the highest of quality and you get rather amusing uh, instructions i won't read them out to you but it, it claims it claims to go up to 360 degrees celsius sterilization spelt with a c there um yeah uh, but the important thing on here to see that the ultraviolet wavelength is 253.7 nanometers which is uvc which indeed is uh, a germicidal uh, light source it will kill germs and pathogens it breaks them down and renders them you know useless so if it does emit uvc then it might actually do some good um looking around the device let's like say that's the, obviously the the area where your phone goes you've got a little uh sort of vent there that you apparently put aromatherapy oils in um we've got what appears to be two sort of quartz type uh, light tubes or lamps a couple of uh, leds down at the bottom there We've got our two buttons coating, which is the uh, sterilization process, and incense, which is the aromatherapy function. We've also got uh, four LEDs uh, for the percentage of completion. Uh, on the bottom, we've got our micro B socket for power, a USB A socket for daisy chaining, um, and say, for instance, another phone charger or you know some kind of USB. It's basically five volts out, essentially. So. What you're supposed to do is plug it in, which I'll do now, if I can. Yeah, multifunction disinfection coating machine, and that's a weird Japanese English accent. Um, but what you're supposed to do is open this up, put your device in, close the lid, and press the coating button. Now, of course, UVC is dangerous, so you'd assume that this would have some sort of safety interface or safety mechanism, as in a switch to 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 break power to the lamps. But of course, it doesn't. It just looks nice and pretty and blue when you open it up. And when I was testing this to see if it did have any UV, I used Her Majesty the Queen in the form of a twenty-pound note. Now, if you don't know. Uh, Around the OV on Bank of England, if you uh, if you expose that to UV light, in fact, I will do it here, you will see that it says 20. Can you see the two digits, two zero, and this uh, diamond pattern? And that's just one of the uh, security um, security features on a, a, a British banknote or an English banknote. We've got U, uh, ultraviolet there. We've got a crown there with a hologram. The, the note itself is transparent. You can see, again, the Queen there on there. There's another hologram on transparent background there. There's a hologram that change, changes from 20 to pounds. Um, another window down there that's got uh, 20 on it. It's uh, embossed into it. 
Um, it's quite a secure banknote. I think it's one of the most secure banknotes in the world just now, the, the, the British £20 note. But uh, yeah, digress slightly. <laughs> um, as you can see, it's got that there. And when I put it in here, it does not does not uh, light up. It doesn't show you anything. Um, so in my non-expert opinion, this does not emit any form of ultraviolet light whatsoever. So we will open up and have a look inside and I will just prove to you that it doesn't have any uh, ultraviolet light source because it's got two light pipes with a five millimeter LED blue uh, LED uh, glued uh, to the end of the light pipe that's using hot glue. Uh, it is a completely fake device. The aromatherapy function uh, is supposed to vaporise oils and stuff like that, scents to, to coat your phone in a nice smelly oil. Um, and to be honest, that is the only part of this device that may function to a pretty low standard. Um, it simply uses, um, what's that orange, a 330 ohm uh, resistor. Um, even when it's not got aromatherapy functioned on, that is hot it's in fact it's almost too hot to touch so there is a potential that that could vaporize an oil that you've put into this little uh, receptacle here it's got a little bit of foam to to retain it but ultimately if you keep filling it up it's, it's just going to fill up with oil and then start leaking everywhere probably um oh well there we go it's completed hey uh, the actual board itself is fairly simple. There's not a lot on it. In fact, let's take it out. Um, got these little connectors, JST type connectors. Um, the LEDs, um, they've cheaped out. They haven't even put the sockets for them. It's literally bare pins uh, on there. Let's take these out. And there we have it, not a lot to it. We've got two sockets, uh, a random, is that 20? Um, I can't even see. 16 pin dual line package and an eight pin dual line package. I can't see, the 16 pin is anonymous, there's nothing on it. And I cannot make out the text on that. I don't know if you guys can do it on there. Nope. Um, couple of transistors. Um, couple of passes there and on the back we've got uh, we're two tactile buttons with little red LEDs for the backlight some passives in series with these four blue LEDs for the sorry I think it might have been out of the shot there yeah some resistors in series with these four blue LEDs for the progress meter little transistor there and that's about it uh, surprisingly they've got these more expensive uh, little tactile switches with the the brass button on it i thought they were probably cheaped out on a you know the old six millimeter square uh, tactile switches that are more common um, yeah and two five millimeter blue leds on there um interestingly this here does look like the footprint for us a high voltage transformer um you, you know the kind of things we used to back in the early 2000s when it was fashionable to have cold cathode lamps inside your PC case? Well, you, they used to come with a little inverter that had a little high voltage transformer. And that certainly does look like a footprint for one. So there is potential that there are uh, versions of this machine out there that do actually have, well, some form of cold cathode lamp or, or, or you know, a UVC lamp. Um, but certainly this one doesn't. There is a, a few other places uh, that aren't populated that may be able to support that. But it does seem like a, a one-stop board for whatever version, either a genuine or fake one, as in as is in this case. But there we go. Um, I, I don't know if I mentioned at the start of the video, I bought 10 of these in the job lot, um, and including delivery, I paid £9 for 10 of them. So the, this particular machine cost 90 pence they were sold as damaged boxes uh, this was the only one that was physically damaged um, little scrape there but for 90 pence 
I suppose for a hobbyist, it's not too bad. You at least get a USB cable uh, and a, a you know a little speaker you could probably use in a project or something. Um, a few other components. But what I was thinking you might be able to do with this actually is just make an absolutely massive power bank. It it looks like the form factor. Uh, of a power bank just uh, upscaled about four times um, but you could potentially just buy an off-the-shelf board from Aliexpress or something like that uh, and repurpose this you've got your USB in and out um, and you could use that for a battery meter and you know a, a button to press to start the, the charger um, but yeah there we go I, I think it's it's terrible that companies are selling this uh, you know these types of devices in this day and age when people are worried about their health and the whole pandemic people might actually be buying this to to stay safe and ultimately it's just uh, it's just a box that makes pretty blue lights and talks in a strange accent and um, ultimately uh, your mobile phone is yours you keep it you use it you put it in your pocket you take it out you use it again you put it back in your pocket you don't tend to share these around y yes you may be a company um you may have a company device like a pda or something like that you use for instance a courier might share a device but ultimately if it's dpd or a big courier like that and they want that sort of facility to sterilize the devices they're not going to be buying something for eight quid off ebay they're going to have some sort of you know industrial thing that is a proven piece of equipment you'd, you'd hope anyway but there we go that's uh that's my first video after quite a few months i know it was rubbish so if you thought it was rubbish of course give me a thumbs down i don't care it's all good interactions um if you thought it was all right give me a thumbs up by all means and put any comments you might have down in the section below there but um as normal um if you haven't already done so and you'd like to consider doing so click on the fat head down here to subscribe and until next time as always take care of yourselves and all the best